Hey guys, um, I decided to make a Nomex honeycomb carbon panel. Uh, I've done lots of fiberglass stuff before, and I tried my hand with some carbon stuff, uh, but I hadn't make it, I hadn't made a, a sandwich panel before, and I was having trouble finding uh, anything that told me how to do it. So I figured I'd put this out there. Maybe it'd help somebody. Uh, I just come off making the seat for the kit box, uh, which turned out awesome. I spent a ton of time on the mold and. I was happy to finally be finished with that, but while I still had my makeshift, you know, composite lab going, I figured I would make some sandwich panels for luggage compartment. Uh, they're designed to hold about 150 pounds, uh, so just took a stab at, at engineering that and then brick tested some stuff and uh, brought it to the level that I felt I was comfortable. Uh, most of the time with composite panels and aircraft applications, especially with carbon, people are concerned with the uh, you know, shattering or the, to prevent the shattering, everyone uses Kevlar and then the Kevlar will cut the carbon strands and then you have a bit of a, a breaking problem. So, like I said, did a bunch of damage testing and I feel pretty comfortable. I uh, have a little off cut here from one of the other panels. So we'll show you when you snap it, you can bend it as many times as you want and twist it and do whatever kinds of fun stuff and it, it won't break. Uh, I found that no matter what I did do it, the only way to do it, the only way to break it is to cut it with a saw or a really sharp knife or something like that after you've bent it back and forth several times. So I'm pretty confident that in an impact or something like that, uh, I'm not going to die by my seat, um, or at least any more than I would with the fiberglass one. Um, so with that, uh, here's one of the panels. Surface finish turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That's 4K carbon. You can see the Nomex. In the middle there um, it's, it's very strong very stiff makes a funny little drum sound too um, so I'll, I'll run my video here uh, of how I exactly did the layup you can see um, I'm, like I said I'm working on the glass table took a took a cue from Mike Patey here um, you know, the, the mold finish is typically how your finish comes out in your part so glass turned out really well better than I expected actually if you if you wet the glass first and do a pretty good job with the first layer of the wet out, you can get a, a real nice finish on, on the carbon. Um, this layup is a 4K carbon with an hybrid weave and then another layer of 4K carbon to, to sandwich that in panel uh, and then reciprocal on the other side. So what I did was I vacuum bagged a single panel, let that cure and then laid up the second panel and sandwiched it with the honeycomb. So you can see I'm wetting it out. Uh, this side isn't vacuum bagged, it's just gonna be sandwiched. Uh, so I made sure I did a pretty good job of uh, you know, sucking as much resin as I could out of that to keep the part as light as possible. Uh, and then pull the bag over, pull the vacuum just like you do anything else. Uh, and then let it cure, take it out and trim it up. Uh, you can see I, I learned my lesson. I, started waxing the opposite side of the panel as well because if you have a finished product in a mold it tends to attract some resin particles and ruin your finish so definitely watch out for that um, had a bit of trouble with my vacuum pump here but um, Canada problems I guess my, my vent hose froze and vacuum pump was making pressure but anywho I uh, got that sorted out panels turned out great uh, show a picture of what they look like in the plane as well still got to make the the sides um, Took a cue from from Brian Bone as well. Grab some carbon arrows and uh, you know, th thread the opposite end of that, and finish up the baggage compartment. And this thing is turning into more of a carbon cub than a kit fox, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the panels are turning out great. The resin I was using is 105 and 207 from West, and I'm using uh, fabrics from Composites Canada, uh, the 4K carbon and the Anegra. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, not typically a, an avid YouTube poster, but hopefully this, uh, this helps somebody.